Welcome to VBlog 42, Business 1 through 5, Fun with Excel and Math. We're still in Chapter 7 here. Hey, we're in our Excel workbook. We're going to click on the sheet tab called Markup on Sell Price 2. Now, let's increase the size here and read this problem here. Hey, a three-ring binder has a markup of 172. The 172 is a, mar is a markup on selling price of 35%. So there's our two pieces of information. And they want us to find the cost of the binders and the sell price for the binders. Hey, step number one, if I can adjust our screen. Let's put our 35% into our little template and our 172. Notice base. Base is sell price because we're doing sell price, markup on sell price. So once we know a part and a related rate, we can simply divide them to get our base. So here it is. Base equals part divided by rate. In our case, we have markup in dollars, 172, divided by markup on sell price rate, 35%. Write it there. Ooh, but when we divide it, we get all sorts of decimals hanging out there. So we have to round to the penny, so we get 491. We plug that in there. Once we have plugged that in there, we can solve for our um, cost because Sell price minus markup is cost. So here it is. Sell price minus markup is cost. We do that subtraction. We get 319, the purple one. And then over here, we can go ahead and solve for this rate. I don't think they even asked for that, but might as well fill out the complete template here. 100 minus 35, 65%. Let's go do it in Excel. I'll decrease the size here a little bit. Our cost rate, well, we don't know that. Our markup rate, we do know. That says it's 35%. And uh, since sell price is base, that's, base, that's going to be our 100%. 100%. The cost is not given here, but the markup is $1.72. Let's go ahead. Excel is talking again. Let's, let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. The sell price rate is 100%. The markup rate is 35%. And we have a markup in dollars right there equals 172. All right, let's go ahead and solve. We have a related uh, rate here and an amount. There's a part and a related rate for that part. So we can solve for the base. Here's the base. So equals round, open parentheses. 172 divided by 35%, comma 2, close parentheses, enter 491. We can easily call a solve for cost here now, equals the 491 minus the 172. Over here, we can go ahead and solve for our cost rate, equals the 100% minus the 35. Here's another perspective, um, and this is the reason why retailers, who, the people who sell the stuff to the final customer, they're always talking about um, markup on sell price. The reason why is for every $1, 65% of that $1 that came in from the customer went to buying the thing. The rest was the markup, 35%. Markup, margin, gross profit. So And that's why they do it this way. They want the $1 to be the sell price, and they want to break apart that $1 that they just received from the customer and see how much is the markup and how, how much of that dollar went to cost. All right. Let's try. Welcome to VBlog 43. This is Business 135, fun with Excel and math. Hey, we're in our workbook here. We're going to click on the sheet tab, Markup on Sell Price 3. Markup on Sell 3. Now, the PDFs have um, this slide, slide number 12 of 25. This slide here, the, the jogging shorts and the markup on sell price. The slide and the PDFs is incorrect. There's a little note at our website that says that. But the picture here inside of our workbook, and then, of course, this V-blog you're watching will give you the, the real scoop on this problem here. All right, here it is. Let's look at our drawing here. Is that better if I make it smaller? Like that? No, no, I meant to go the other way. There we go. Whoops, that's too big. 
All right, uh, cost of jogging shorts equals to $9.15, and the markup on sell price is 25%. As we just mem mentioned in the last fee blog, that means every time they sell something with a markup, this 25% is, uh, 25 cents of every dollar is the markup. 75% cents of every dollar is goes to cost. Hey, so we have our two pieces of information. We have um, the cost right here, the C, and the markup on sell price 25 in yellow. So first, since we don't have um, in the outset a related rate and a related um, amount, we have this rate here and this amount up here. Why don't we just go ahead and solve this? 100 minus uh, 25 will give us 75. So we did that there and then plug that in there. Once we have that 75%, then we have a part, the cost, and a rate, a related rate, and we can do a division to get our sell price. So look at this. Part divided by rate equals base. Sell price, in this case, is the base. Cost is the part. Cost rate is the rate. Make that division. 915 divided by 0.75. Wow, $12.20. So we put that there. Then we do the subtraction here. And we get the markup of $3.05. Let's go ahead and do this in Excel. Let's go to markup rate. This is on sell price 25. 25%. And then 100%. That's always the base. The base is 100%. So since our sell price is the base, sell price rate 100%. The cost, that's what they give us, $9.15. Let's go ahead and put our rates down here. Markup, 25%. Enter. The sell price right there, enter. And then our cost. Now let's go ahead and um, calculate our first calculation here. We need to figure out what the cost rate is. Equals this 100 minus this 25. Tab, 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 tab. Don't really need that. You could have just taken your mouse and click down here because now we have a related rate and a related amount part. So we can go ahead and do the division right here. Equals around 915 divided by uh, 0.75 comma 2 because this is dollars. Close parentheses. Enter. Wow, 1220. Now we have a uh, 915 and a 1220 and dollars and pennies, so we can do the subtraction equals 1220 minus the 915. That'll give us our markup of $3.05. The cool thing here is we figured out that it's possible if we have an amount in a non-related rate, we just solve on this side because guess what? We always have the 100%, so whichever rate we have, we can solve for the other one. Once we got that 75, then it was a matter of doing the division to get the the base. And then we did our subtraction there. Hey, let's look at our next example. Markup on sell price 4. This is a great one uh, because we're going to do both. Markup on cost and markup on sell price. Again, if you work in an industry where you're talking to people in retail and in a manufacturer, you need to be able to think in both terms. And if someone just out of the blue says, hey, the markup is, the markup percentage, you go, hey, is it cost or sell price? Uh, here's our example. Let's see if we can look here first. Make it a little bit bigger. No, that's that's too big. All right. A small motor company sells to both manufacturers who make compressors and to retailers who sell motors to consumers. So this, in this case, this person really needs to be able to think both in markup and cost and markup and sell price in case uh, the different industries talk in their own jargon or terms. If the cost of the motor is 50 bucks and the sell price is 75, fine. Percent of markup on based on cost and percent markup based on sell price. Let's do our cost one first. Notice I use my color coding here to, to help me remember. Oh yeah, that's base. Cost is base. So we have 75 and 50. We of course solve for the 25 there. Once we get the 25, we can do our division. Per, uh, part divided by base equals markup 25. Divided by cost, oh yeah, 50. So we get 50%, we plug it in there. 
So there it is. And we can solve for that one, too. But this problem just says, what is the markup based on cost? It's 50%. Let's scroll over here and look at the same problem, but the base has changed. Look at that. Base, 100% sell price. We got that 25, so now we're going to divide 25 by 75. So when you do that here, part divided by base, part divided by base equals markup divided by sell price, 25 divided by 75, oh, one third. 33.33333333333% or 33.13% or as we're going to do 33.33% we'll round it to that. Scroll up and uh, do our calculations. I color coded it here so when we do cost we know that is the base. So we have a 50 and 75. We can easily get our markup equals 75 minus our 50. Control enter. 25 bucks. Now we come over here. Equals round. And we're going to do our division. 25 and it's divided by the base. Which one's the base? The cost. And comma. Oh, hey, we're doing percents. And we're going to go to the fourth position. So we're going to type a four. Enter. 50%. Now let's go down and do our sell price. Remember, base is different. Sell price. We're going to solve for our markup here. Same exact calculation, 75 minus 50. Enter. And here, guess what? We're going to do a similar formula, equal, at least the round part, equals round, open parentheses, the markup divided by base. You got it. 75 bucks. That's the sell price, comma, four, close parentheses, 33. And, uh, 0.33%. So there you go. Two different uh, markup on cost, markup on sell price. Hey, let's uh, scroll down. We've got to look, look 